God has promised by Ellen G. White. God stands back of every promise he has made. Encouraging promises compiled from the writings of Ellen G. White. When death comes, let the peace of Christ come into your soul. Be true in your trust because he is true to his promise. Lay your poor nervous hand in his firm hand and let him hold you and strengthen you, cheer and comfort you. God would not have us remain pressed down by dumb sorrow we saw in breaking hearts. He would have us look up and behold his dear face of love. The blessed Saviour stands by many whose eyes are so blinded by tears that they do not discern him. He longs to clasp our hands, to have us look to him in simple faith, permitting him to guide us. His heart is open to our griefs, our sorrows and our trials. He will lift the soul above the daily sorrow and perplexity into a realm of peace. If with a humble heart you seek divine guidance in every trouble and perplexity, his word is pledged that a gracious answer will be given you. In the darkest days, when appearances seem most forbidding, fear not. Have faith in God. He knows your need. He has all power. His infinite love and compassion never weary. Fear not that he will fail of fulfilling his promise. He is eternal truth. Never will he change the covenant he has made with those who love him. And he will bestow upon his faithful servants the measure of efficiency that their need demands. When in trouble, many think they must appeal to some earthly friend, telling him their perplexities and begging for help. Under trying circumstances, unbelief fills their hearts and the way seems dark. And all the time, there stands beside them the mighty counsellor of the ages, inviting them to place their confidence in him. Jesus, the great burden bearer, is saying, Come unto me and I will give you rest. Shall we turn from him to uncertain human beings who are as dependent upon God as we ourselves are? Those who have borne the greatest sorrows are frequently the ones who carry the greatest comfort to others, bringing sunshine wherever they go. Such ones have been chastened and sweetened by their afflictions. They did not lose confidence in God when trouble assailed them, but clung closer to his protecting love. Such ones are a living proof of the tender care of God who makes the darkness as well as the light and chastens us for our good. We have a living, risen Saviour. The life giver is soon to come. He is to bring forth the captives and proclaim, I am the resurrection and the life. There stands the risen host. The last thought was of death and its pangs, but now they proclaim, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Here they stand, and the finishing touch of immortality is put upon them, and they go up to meet their Lord in the air. The gates of the city of God swing back upon their hinges, and the nations that have kept the truth enter in. Go right forward as if every prayer offered was lodged in the throne of God and responded to by the one whose promises never fail. Go right along, singing and making melody to God in your hearts, even when depressed by a sense of weight and sadness. Light will come, joy will be ours, and the mist and clouds will be rolled back. <music>